Look who's back. Look who's here. Hey. It's Yet. Yet. It's Yet Neptunes. Everybody give it back for, give it up a clapping hands of for Yet yeah. Neptunes is in here. Hey. Unbelievable bang. It's a little unbelievable. I cannot believe Jing Lava. <laughs> Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Now, obviously, this person has lost their fucking mind. <laughs> like, this person is gone. So, we should have known by the mosquito nets on the front, the white stone bedding, the uh, nativity scene made from schizophrenia, and the have a very happy Easter. So, this is all Easter directions. I, uh, the decorations. I love how, oh, these got, we got a lot of words. Don't waste food, t talk about your day, offer to help cook and clean, wash your hands, and add a big papa cala. Is that a lady sitting? Doesn't it look like there's a lady sitting in the chair? Yeah, like a That's creepy. Lady. Yeah, she's, she's like, lady. just sell my house. And then we have 5,000 stuffed animals. Forever family. Before, Hi, everybody. Before they were called plushies, they were called stuffed animals. Yes, before they were plushies, that we were stuffed animals and a more of an Easter scene. Real big Easter home around here. You know how I love my animals. Now, there's nothing uh, more fun to walk into with a, with a house full of these characters. I'm never alone here. <laughs> she fucks us. <laughs> She rips ass from... She has Coca-Cola farts. Oh. Yeah, old Janet has Coca-Cola farts. She's ripping Janet. them. Uh, four framed picture collages of the family. A nice little hoarding mess that we threw a blanket over in the hallway. Office chair to get ready at. Put the makeup on while you put your pills in your mouth. Good for you. Uh, Another chair you can just sit down on and catch your breath. Yeah, just catch your breath after a hot fuck session. But yeah, no, the uh, stamped back uh, rock maple dining room set that's just ever-present in the, uh, the five-figure-ish house. Um... She fire fucking. She has pancreatic cancer. I can smell it in her. Is there a again, her farts? The is house it, itself. What does it come with? The iPad that she looks at QAnon posts on. <laughs> <laughs> it comes I'll with that. I'll throw this in. I'll throw this in. You can have it. You I'll, see what they're doing. It, you, <laughs> you fucking see what they're doing, Jet. They're out there. The librarians. They're teaching the kids. They're teaching them about you know, picking. You know what they're doing. I'm John F. Kennedy Jr. Mm -mm. You're a good man. Well, the thing is, they the, they killed the Kennedys because they knew. He, he was. They say. Mm -mm, I can't even say it out loud. <laughs> I won't even say it out loud. Mm -mm. These guys know what I say, right, guys? And they're all like, "Kill me." That's the stuff they <laughs> But these, all these little critters know the truth. About the Kennedys, and then this well, white bear looks up at you. <laughs> the very thing is, fucking kill me, dude. Fucking blow my head off, dude. She's got her fucking ass stinks. <laughs> You're not gonna believe the fucking smell of this lady's ass, dude. It stinks so bad. Wade, it's thank you for joining. She showers, but it fucking stinks, dog. This house is fucking incredible. I gotta show you. This is like, this house. Oh my God. You know what? I just, holy shit. This is John Stupid's house. <laughs> oh my God. I almost forgot. This is my first house. <laughs> hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. Our house is on. Yeah. Beth Stupid. She's, she's the love of my life. Where's, where's your heart? Oh, that's right. Oh man. 10 feet in the air, double staircase. A signature, stu a s <laughs> it's a stupid signature. <laughs> I put the little fountain in there for elegance. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh man, this thing is loaded with stupid features. And people love them. I had, a, honestly, here's the stupid thing. I got the best lot. Look, it looks down the fucking, uh, the, the, the waterway there. A couple of great things that we did here. Um, I like to let my children push their child's table to the back of the island of my kitchen. And then I like to leave the spices out when the photographs get taken to let them know I'm a real cook. This kitchen's made for cooking. <laughs> I kitty cornered my utility from my stove to make a real triangle effect because I saw that on HGTV 10 years ago. Even though I sacrificed probably 15 square foot of usable, uh, of usable space by being a fucking idiot. I always throw my signature rock maple dining room set that's worthless underneath a nice light that was from 1986 in a house that was built in 2005. I love the neon fleur-de-lis with graffiti. That's just cool artwork that I'm into. Mardi Gras, baby. Even though, oh no, I am in New Orleans. Cool, no rug, five fat ass couches with one coffee table and books on it that you can't read because stupids can't read. <laughs> Everybody knows we can't read. Come on, stop making fun of me. I can't read. Who cares? <laughs> hey, guys, knock it off. I can't read. Who cares? 
I put the big ass fan. I got a buddy, Rick. He works down at the big ass fan. We're always drinking Becks together. He got me a big 60 inch big ass. So whenever I turn that bad boy on, it's like you're in a wind tunnel. That's this a good thing in a house. This shit is so real. It's so stupid. Look at this. I got another one from my room. I got the two bucks. I hang the hat on it. Got me a couple eight point bucks in my filthy room with a living room couch and non-matching bedding. Oh, a nice big dog bed for my 90 pound dog. I bet you this place smells like a dog's dick. That's wood faux painted marble. A stupid signature. Wow. Wow. This is, this is like, this is special. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the stupidest house. I Look at this thing. <laughs> it's like a beautiful architecture. Jet, you like that? I can build you one. I would love that. 385,000. Really? For the back, for that backside. I build them back first. <laughs> I throw a couple, me and the guys throw a couple of walls up in the back and we, we have a back to front model in our framing. Very signature stupid. Uh, yeah, this is That's unbelievable. Unreal. Yeah. Oh, cool. Unfinished, uh, boathouse. Yeah. This is a, uh, 350. Uh, no, no, it's, it looks like it's in the flood plains and it looks terrible and uh, it looks cheap to be honest with you. One of a kind property, right? If you call them the Venetian Isles. Um, who's selling this? Who's selling my house now? Nathan Bell. Hey, Nate. Nate sells all the stupid properties. Um, it's the ugliest house in the world. That might be the ugliest, though, like, when was it built in? 98 bucks a foot. Built in 06. 06. Installed with yard sale fixtures. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. First house of the night, 7564 Marsh Fern Lane, Hobie Sound, Florida. 602's estimate, 599. Most typical fucking uh, Florida house we've ever seen. Built in 89. 256. Hey, it's a $600,000 house with a $300 a month fee. Does that come with landscaping? I like Zillow's bandwidth is slower than fish tank. Like Zillow's been like slow on here. Really? Like like I'll click it and it'll just be like, hold on. They're throttling you. The throttle, yeah, Zillow's like this. Fuck that guy. He wants to fucking play with realtor, you can suck my dick. You can only have one. Yeah, you can't keep kissing me and fucking her. I'd rather <laughs> be his whore. Remember that's what the really dramatic girl in my high school said that said, did you have really dramatic girls in your seventh and eighth grade class? Girls that no. cried a lot during like social discussions and shit? No, I didn't. I, I had um because I was uh, I was in like the smart class or whatever, I had the same classmates like every year, oh. and they were all like n like Harry Potter nerds, like gotcha. freaks. Gotcha. We had like stupid Charles, Eric, and I went to yeah. like this Catholic school, this like shitty Catholic school in one socket. It was like it was like eight hundred bucks a year. Somehow yeah. it was worth it. Um, yeah, it's not bad. No, nah, it was cheap, and. Uh, <laughs> There was like a couple of girls in the school and they would like get teary eyed and always like uh, recite movie uh, movie lines to us, like to girls. <laughs> and these are like girls you play like spin the bottle with. Yeah. Like you, you'd catch like a, I'd rather be his whore. And you're like, Whoa. take it easy, Amanda. And uh, so Eric, I think one of the funniest things that Eric Hayden and, and Charles, we used to do in class is like say the things that this girl Melinda used to say. Yeah. It'd be like, a, I'd rather be his whore. She said that? Yeah, yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> so we'd always say that shit. It was really real funny. No, they, they, no, maybe no. people out there, do you have, was, it, was 7th and 8th grade a real dramatic? I mean, Titanic was the movie that, you know, I'm old. I'm fucking 78 years old, so. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the dramatics of uh, that life was so fucking funny. Yeah, this, uh, 599, all the reach, plus, uh, you know, the house needs everything. There's not a finish in this thing that's desirable. It is a, it's fine. It's clean. All the finishes are bad. The HOA fee is excessive, but it comes with, if it comes with full maintenance landscaping, I guess that's something to consider. I mean, there's not much to be excited about. Uh, $4,000 uh, to buy it with uh, 60 grand down. I don't know. I heard the, the area that got whacked by the hurricane is the buy-in. That's intel from Pops, who's down in Florida currently. He says that island that got destroyed in Florida is a decent buy. Yeah. What are the odds that the hurricane's gonna hit it again? Just go pick up a piece. It's like the only deal lightning in Florida. Lightning strike twice. Not a ch Hey, lightning strikes twice. Fucking come get me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm ready to fucking roll the dice. <laughs> Honestly, if you can if you can run a hurricane through this fucking county, you deserve it. Year after year, come get me, motherfucker. Now we're back to normal things. 605 Dinwiddie. Back to real life. Back to real life for normal people. Like us, like me, like you, like Jet, and Letty, and Chris, and... Who are the, who are the, who's the most normal person? Vance. Yeah, just Vance. Just normal. Vance. People. This is the Vance estate. 150, three bedroom, two bath, 1700 square foot, 1900s industrial. Is this it? 605. Yeah, all right. Original detail, tile four sucks, 12 by 12 shit box tile. It's a shame. God knows what the fuck they ruined underneath that. Not a big deal. 3500 to get that back. 
L-shaped galley kitchen. Oh, cool. You put a fucking, what is this, a halfway house? Cool. Is that where heroin addicts talk about uh, getting raped at a fucking uh, petrol truck stop for hours, for years? And that was the first time I got stuck, if you know what I mean. Wow, six by six posts on the deck. Brassy! I like the thick, the, the post thickness tells me something good. Yeah. The brick exposure down underneath here, nice. Like the deck. I actually like the house. The house is nice. Um, the original detail is good. The fact that it was a halfway house is a different story. Could use tile to bring it back to uh, original luster, and you can extend the kitchen into here, whatever the fuck they try to do. Just, uh, but not a bad piece. This is an, that might have been a, this part might be an addition right here. This part right here might be. So just check the, the, the legitimacy of the addition where, where that part meets the other part. But this part, um, been in many homes that have this area in my, and just take this silly wave painting off the side of the fucking wall so we don't have to feel ridiculous. Like Bill Goldberg designed your house, but someone in the house decided that uh, putting uh, nature Japanese nature print sheets over the windows when you're trying to sell a house and a cool wolf painting and a chroma key green room was a good idea too. So I don't think you can trust too much as far as what the last finishes go, based on the uh, the rest of it. But I do like the house. That that, that doesn't mean shit. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We are flying out to Las Vegas, baby. Oh, look at the size of this fucking living room. Is this, is this Rick Harrison's house? It's pretty nice. I mean, this is like a Las Vegas class. I think we've seen this twice on the stream. This is the second one. Uh, brick vaulted, dome vaulted ceilings. The, the, you know, the terracotta tone isn't like, you know, obviously I hate that shit, but like this thing was pretty stacked, man. This is like a, a fireplace in the, got, you know, m marble of substance, marble columns, shitty. Wow, look at the size of the fuck shower on this thing. Holy shit, guys, put the fucking soaps away though. Jesus Christ, it's 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 millions. Put the soap away. Who's this? Chris Angel Mind Freaks house. You got sex studio for for sex slaves. Full arcade. Wow, a real player pool table. Real rug. Cinema. Damn. Wow, cinema with an entryway. Look at that. <whistles> Fiber optic ceiling. It's a nice piece. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's, <laughs> nice. I mean, it's nice. It's fucking nice. Yeah. This, oh, <laughs> fucking putting me. This thing's yeah, awesome. big maintenance. Uh, it's fat, though. It's, I, whoa. Holy the shit. We got a facility. Wow. We got a fucking. You got racquetball. You got batting cages. You got. That's the that's the kitchen in the in the playhouse. Six car garage. Big entryway. I mean, the square foot. This thing must be a 50,000 square footer. This must be a monster. It's nice. It's big. You guys are on fire tonight. These houses are kind of fat. This is not an easy thing to hit. And you guys are kind of hitting like that's a, I mean, it's 10 million. Uh, but again, how are you building that again? You tell me, you know something magic? Oh, six, five acres sold for eight and a half million and 18. And it's up to 15. It's up to 10. It was up to 15. Well, they thought it was worth 15. Someone bought it for eight and a half. Just goes to show you, you folks there. The house was for sale for 15. The guy got it for eight and a half. And now it's worth 10, seven. See how much it floats like that? Like it's nothing. I feel like that's like power to give people. Like just don't don't take everything at like face value. Like, oh, it's six million. I can never talk about it ever. Like they're just, they're just being dick. You know how many people just list their house just to be dickheads? To like brag? People do that all the time. Do you know that? Do you guys know that? Like rich people will just list their house for like a stupid number just to say it's like, well, we put it on the market for six million. You're like, Blanche, your fucking house is worth $3.5 million. Like shut the fuck up. Just so they can have a listing with their yeah to like know, with their address to be like well we, we listed it for six million yeah and you're like dude first of all you your dead husband built the house yeah and I've seen people like flex like that like the, and the number that comes out of their mouth is always like thirty percent too much mm -hmm. and I'm like oh cool did you oh cool yeah oh I, that's so funny I was gonna sell my truck for two hundred and seventy thousand my my F three fifty yeah yeah my truck it's you know what it's just it's I listed it to two hundred seventy five if someone wants to buy it I guess I'll leave. Like, shut up. You should be thrown down a flight of stairs yeah. by your hair. You know, someone should take you by your fucking hair and, like, heave you down a set of 30 stairs. One flight, no no landing. 34, 56, 766, Strawberry Lane, Ashland, Oregon, 3, 5,400 5, square foot house. 750 bucks a foot? 630 a foot. Built in 12 by architect Jill Simpson. Let's see. Floating concrete stairs. Large river rock. This is a good landscape technique. Kind of like you can do it yourself if you're smart about it. Your your rocks have to be uniform size. If you guys ever, tr if you want to pull something off, you can do this. This is like a lazy wall. They call this an armored slope where we're from. You can do this yourself, but make sure you don't throw any rocks in that are small. You have to keep consistent size. Just keep that in mind. So I keep a rock pile on my property, like large and mediums. 
and I put them aside, I like separate them by so like the small ones will be a fire pit, but the large ones will be like a hill, uh, they'll hold a hill, yeah. a grade change, a die cut metal wall, nice architectural detail, cool. What the fuck is the fireplace so small? You mean the fireplace bigger, dude? Why is your fireplace so small, fucker? You ever hear Bobby say that? Bobby yeah. does the best trollo ever. Really? He's like, hey, what's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> All the time, Bobby. Hacker, the, the great. Uh man, this is uh, good. That's pretty good. I mean, 12, the solid wood closets built for a psycho. Good layout. Just a, a space for everything. What do we got there? What's that? What the fuck is that? Is that a... A bifold door. Oh, those oh, okay. Wow. What is that? That's a garage door opener. I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is, but I've always wanted to like know how that shit goes yeah. down. That's cool. The garage door is open in a cool way, and I don't know why, how. Yeah. I like the relief in the uh, concrete. I like con like I like this shit. I know yeah, this is brutal cool. and tasteless, but it's not. If the if, if the setting is nice and it can take it, it's this is nice. I like this shit. The the reeds and the, uh, the the landscape there. Good planting. Piece of pea gravel walkways throughout. Uh, nice piece. This is nice. Good light. Good windows. I, I mean, I like it. I don't. I don't hate that stuff. I mean, I don't. Th I think it's gonna age like the contemporaries do, which we see a lot. Those '80s contemporaries. They're gonna probably age like that, and we're gonna see this and know this was a moment in time. But we're gonna remember that these houses were flexes. This is a flex. If you live in this fucking thing, this is cool. Yeah. I've n I've had drinks in houses like this maybe twice in my life that like people I know owned them mm -hmm. and it was cool that I was there. I was happy to be there. <laughs> that motherfucker was making moves. The shit is fat. That's what those contemporaries were back in the day. Those eighties houses that I say buy, that's what these are going to be one day. But these are, I think there's a little bit more foresight built in the, I don't know, we're a little smarter, but you never know. Again, it could age like milk. I don't know. What do I, what do I know? I'm just a guy screaming at his laptop, but it is a nice piece. Lead platinum, Lead, nice cool. leadership and energy and environment, environmental design. So, they're following all the right rules going forward. So this house is probably not going to, going to age like wine, man. And uh, the materials used, natural woods, nothing's offensive or like silly. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the most, the thing that could possibly date, maybe the gray color in the cabinets, maybe like the Italian smooth, um, maybe like this stuff, but it's, it's kind of cool, like the hidden profile, but natural woods never really go out of style. Brick never goes out of style. Simple white tile doesn't really, age poorly you see it in 1930s you see it in 2030s and both of them look good um love the wide i love the uh the 50 inch walkway to the bathroom that's nice like a wide entryway to the bathroom mm -hmm. is a it's a nice touch what am i going to say about it? it's a nice house it's it's actually pretty dope and if they built that for 500 bucks a foot it's worth 3.4 million now it's a big house built by green hammer most energy efficient and wow set on nine acres if i'm being totally honest with you when I retire, I would like to get into this, like exactly this. Kevin, if you see this, this is what I'm talking about doing. We gotta do this stuff. Seven Cottingham Drive, 339 in Georgia. Look at Zillow just being slow. Just playing games with us, Jet. You gotta get Zillow Plus. Yeah, we got we gotta upgrade to Zillow Plus, and I'll be fast when as soon as you go to Zillow Plus. So this has new hardwood floors throughout. Um, those are bad. The kitchen tiles, fucking dog shit. The kitchen's absolute shit. No big deal. Take the island out. You might want to work with a kitchen designer. Part of this wall might come out, but there's definitely AC. Uh, there's duct work in the, that wall. Um, I like the door upgrade on the back. It's not great, but pretty good. I like the house. I like the house because it's an easy sell. It's the Honda Accord of the house. It's not gonna fuck you. Oh, the bathroom's redone. Yeah, yeah. Clean the grout. Not. I don't hate it. I don't even hate the vessel sink. It's not not bad. They used an old uh, oak mission oak desk. The exposed plumbing. Yeah. Okay. Built-in shed. Little walkway. Smart. Holland stone gray. I actually have this in my backyard. I was also cheap at one point. Uh, I'm ripping it out. But no, no, not bad. Actually, if you kept this brick is okay. This border is not. So if you ever fix this or modify this, you can re. I just just keep it. Just plant around it. Um, nice piece. The Unilock paver driveway was not cheap, uh, even though it's failing. You can have a good paver guy come in and make it all neat again. A decent power wash will, will clean that up. Double driveway. Nice house. Uh, go for it. I would say go for it. Don't know the area, but 66, 180 bucks a foot, brick facade, floor to ceiling windows, large rooms, good layout. Better than a fucking builder's grade piece of shit college girl house. 2306, Kilkenny West, Tallahassee, Florida. I like this better than the other one. What are we, uh, we're all the rage in the in the, uh, the orange state, in the sunshine state of Florida. Needs every service, layout's a little better. Um, again, a, a siding job and a remod, a siding and window job in this house would go real far. Obviously needs everything, siding windows. The, the, sco the scale of the rooms is really nice. It's obviously gonna need every coating, or it doesn't. 
keep the stools. Those are casinas. Those stools are pretty nice. Um, I don't understand this fucking fence. Maybe it's just a park where people get killed in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, that's what it really looks like. Uh, 450, first time to mark, 475, half acre lot, right there off Route 10. Uh, 150 bucks a foot. You're gonna spend 75. Being into a two, you're gonna be into this thing for 225, 250 a foot. Big house though. It's still for 120. It's, I mean, it's it's on the money. I don't think the money's wrong. Um, it's just how much you have to spend. If you have more money to spend, go for this one. Uh, paint. It's a paint trick house. Win windows and doors would actually do it. I would do more paint and flooring. Uh, if you're decent at it, go for it. I like that one better. It's got a little more character, better layout. Will take kindly to your upgrades, which it desperately needs. And I think you'd sell it. And you got some free square footage there.